Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Titanian Kingdom. We got another exciting episode for you today. We have the Terminator collectible card game. This is a little bit of an oldie, not quite as old as the Terminator movie, <laughs> but uh, this game was published by a game called Precedence Entertainment, which is the same guys that brought us the Tomb Raider trading card game. And also, if you can remember way back in the day, they brought us also the Wheel of Time uh, collectible card game as well, which is based on Robert Jordan's fantasy novels. I've never read any of those novels myself, but this is from the same company that brought us that card game. And uh, this is a relatively cheap game to get into, um, or to collect, if you're like me. Um, these two starter decks came in a package on eBay. These two came for like $13.30, something like that. And actually, I bought two booster boxes. That I know this is the smallest booster box you've probably ever seen. I bought two of these for less than what it cost for these two. Don't ask me why. That was, that was the price. Probably because these starter decks are slightly more uncommon maybe or they have the rules to how to play the game but for any case i got two of these booster boxes for like 1250 and two of these starter decks for like like 13 dollars so it was about the same but still i'm kind of surprised that two starter decks were more than two booster boxes anyways this game uh, is based, obviously, on the 1984 film, as you can tell by the movie art. And I don't believe there's anything in this game regarding the second movie or third movie or any of the other garbage Terminator movies that they made. Really, in my opinion, first one is the best anyways. Second one, it's, mm, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Third one, garbage. <laughs> But um, that's neither here nor there. Let's bust these open and see what this game looks like. So these uh, these starter boxes, um, as you notice, they are labeled Resistance and Skynet. So I think the way that you end up playing this game is that one person takes the role of the Resistance and one uh, takes the role of the machines. And I was reading online that that was actually one big criticism that the game got was that you had to you had to maintain this this uh, one resistance, one one machines kind of uh, play style throughout the game, so that it kind of left less. I don't know, custom, customization up to the player. So, I mean, you could only have so many cards as the resistance and you couldn't play with the Skynet cards if you were playing as the resistance and vice versa. So, <clears throat> this opens up here from the side. And what do we get? We get, whoa, a dice. Nice. Okay. Might need that to play. And that's pretty much all you get in there. You get some little punch outs. Alpha, Bravo, X-Ray, Zulu. Ah, got some military stuff going on here. You get a booster pack. Obviously you get your, your deck. And it looks like you get like a quick start guide, I'm guessing. It's literally called a quick start guide. And then you have like the official rules in this kind of thick little pocket manual. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I don't really like card games that use art from video games, movies that which they're based on. But I may be able to make an exception for the Terminator because I just love this movie so much. Now I wonder if there's any significance of the color of these cards. I'm, 
I'm guessing this is Sergeant Kyle Reese. These are kind of like actions, I guess. So he's a he's a character. These orange cards are kind of like I don't know actions, I guess. And these are like less lesser characters, I'm guessing, in the blue. Police officer, garbage man, Saracana. There's only one Saracana. Magnum. And these, of course, are locations. Kitchen. Who ordered this? Just an average motel motel. Hmm. Dumpster. Main Street alleyway. Tech noir. A trendy early 80s bar. Nice. Pawn shop. Oh, here we got a few other ones. We got Pawn 3 and Corporal Renzi. Hmm, interesting. So that is our resistance deck. That's what the back of the cards look like. Just Terminator and got some strange looking metallic disc. Let's see, we got nine card booster pack. <laughs> and these things were 250 back in the day. 250 for nine cards. Look at that. I just ripped it open and it's not even open. Wow. I'm not impressed, precedence. How unprecedented of you. I gotta get my. This is the first booster pack I ever had to get in with a knife. Dear lord. Wow. It's hard to open. like a scene from the end of the movie end of the first movie G Sergeant Valdez hmm. effective weaponry blending in it's Sarah Connor after a shower detailed analysis oh. Sarah J Connor Now, I wonder if there's any way... Oh, okay, so yeah, you see it does tell you on the side in, like, small print. Supporting character. This is an event. This is a condition. This is a main character resistance. Interesting. Hmm. Now I'm guessing we got the same... Cool stuff in here. We got our dice. We got our little punch out, which is slightly different. Let's put those dice over there. Still got our rules and our little oh, quick start guide just for me. Nice. This is Skynet briefing, and as you saw, this is the resistance briefing. So I wonder if they're slightly different. You got your infiltrator here. Nice. Severed arm. book. Street punk. Awesome. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit off camera there. Matt McAllister, Sarah J. Connor, Switchblade, and Laser Sight. Long slide. Sunglasses. Necessary. Completely necessary. forgot just how cyberpunk this first game this first movie was just so awesome I know better mm. 
Mm. Even my Gerber is not cutting it. Okay. I think I read online that this game. Ooh, this looks this looks nice. Skynet feel. Mobile assault. All right. I wonder if we can, or uh, what was I saying? I was saying, like, uh, online I read that there's only, like, 350 cards, slightly less, maybe, like, 348, something like that, in this whole game. So I wonder with, like, a booster box and two starter decks that can, like, collect the whole game. So there's apparently 24 booster packs, and when you bought this in the store... It looked something like this. Let's just open a few of these. A lot easier to open. Point blank. Extrusion. Rock two. Rook two, sorry. Manhole. A manhole and a chain link fence. Well, there's some pretty cool looking guns in this game. There's nothing else. Daybreak. I wish I could just open these without uh, the, old, the old 90s Wizards of the Coast booster pack trick. Private guard stand. Sealed weapon, electromagnetic rounds. And then we got retro viral engineering and fearless. There's that street punk again. So you whip this open, you grab that little triangle, and you rip this open, and you peel it up on the back. That's how you used to open like the old. 90s Magic the Gathering cards. Crowd cover Iridium Power Cell? Oh, yes! Automated assembly lines. Conquer. Some of these I don't really remember from the movie, I must admit. It's been a while since I've seen the first movie, but... Hmm, yeah. Some of these scenes... I don't quite remember. Savagery. Trench warfare. First aid kit. Man stopper rounds. Late breaking story. A burn kit. A time lab discovered. Flight control facility. Human intuition. Yes! I got all the cool, cool, cool Terminator collectible trading cards. My god, these things are all like upside down. <gasps> I got an orphan. Heck yeah. Makeshift barricade switchblade. What's the date? <laughs> I remember that scene. What year is it? Not the day. What year is it? Advanced constructive construction drone. Looks like some shit out of Star Wars. Big Jeff's Family Restaurant. Holy shnikes. Reinforced hardpoint and another first aid kit. Now, granted, I'm kind of going through this fast right now, but I have yet to see if there's a way to tell if, like, you're getting a rare card or if you're getting a common or an uncommon Ask Corporal Devin. Take the vantage point. Scatter. When you hold these booster packs in your hand, you just realize like how small they are. I thought 
you like flipped cards in the end of like your two rears. <laughs> freaking kid with red eyes. I'm gonna try to get through this real quick and make make this. less than 20 minutes long. Ivy Garcia. Run! Run, Forrest! M16A1. Who's the M4 carbine now? Ooh, coming to him. Come on, the little booster pack. Sunglasses. <gasps> Skills upgrade. Toxin coated spikes. Wanted and ammo cache. Oh. There are so many booster packs in here. I don't know if I can do it, guys. I don't know if I can do it. I'm gonna try. Brace for impact. Rewriting history. Mm. Definitely won't be able to do it if these booster packs are not being this surly with me. A flashlight. Hmm. At this point, like... The reason why I, I picked this game up was because it's pretty cheap and it's something familiar. You know, it's the Terminator. Everybody knows the Terminator. And I think that this game, like, if you wanted to pick it up and, and play it, I really don't see you getting much into it, to be honest. Even if you're, like, a really diehard Terminator fan, like, you'd probably play it, like, once, twice, maybe three times, and then, you know, carry on with your normal life, just because it's, one, it's a dead card game, they're not, they're not putting out anything new from it that I've heard of, and two, it's, it's really kind of lacklustrous, I mean, look at how the cards are designed, it looks like a, <laughs> it looks like, I mean, the the font is not really that great the the art is just like i said from the from the movie so uh it's really like just kind of unappealing i mean the, the least they could have done was like come out with like a p2 judgment day expansion but maybe it just was not that popular Which I'm guessing it was not that popular because it uh, never made it to an expansion that I'm aware of, so. Nice 12 gauge auto loader. Got a few more packs here. We're at 19 and a half. Probably gonna run over a little bit, but. We'll get, we'll get all the cards. There's another red eyes. Puppet strings. Wow, that one is the easiest one to open yet. One. Let's get rid of that. 
five, two, three, four, five more packs. And our two at the end. Me. You know what they should have done with this game that would have made it like at least a slightly less retarded? Is they should have just taken Terminator comic book art instead of scenes from the film. <laughs> because, I mean, the Terminator comic book art is pretty sick looking. And it would have made it a lot more interesting, appealing, could have expanded the universe, you know? Hey, but that's just me. That's just me. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. This game came out when I was like 13, maybe. So, who was I? Who was I to have a say in what the Terminator collectible card game coulda, woulda, or should have been? Stronghold mechanic. We got here. Obliteration. Perfect disguise. Yes, that is a perfect disguise. Last booster pack here. Let's hope for the rarest card, which I don't even know what that would be. Parking lot. There it is. That's the rarest card. Look at that, that freaking 80s hair. That is just sexy. So that's it guys, that's the Terminator collectible card game. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think, um, if you've ever played this game before, if it's fun. Um, yeah, until then, uh, catch you guys next time. Bye.